Question three of leak code, longest substring without repeating characters. Given a string S, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So we have a string here, the output is three, and the explanation is the answer is A, B, C. And here we have a string which is all Bs, the output is one, the answer is B, because we aren't allowed any repeating characters. So we need to determine what a substring is, first of all. So a substring is just a value or a group of letters that are adjacent to each other within the original string. This is a substring, this is a substring, this is a substring. However, this is not a substring, this is not a substring. You get the idea. So off the bat, we know straight away that we're gonna have to loop through strings. So we could brute force it, and we could have multiple loops, um, which would give time complexity of on to the power of two, but we wanna make this as efficient as possible. So firstly, in order to see whether we've visited certain values, in the string we can use a set so a set is a data structure that allows for constant lookup and what we'll use is we'll use a slide in window technique so we'll have a left pointer a right pointer this way we only need to loop through this once so we can keep the time complexity relatively small on this so let's let's walk through how this slide in window approach will work at the first point we're going to check a we're going to see if that's in the set if it's not we're going to add it to the set and then we need to update the longest substring variable. So this will begin as zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to say the longest substring is equal to the max between the longest and set dot size. We've looked at the first value. We've added it to the set. We update the longest because the longest will be the maximum between longest, which is zero and set dot size, which is currently one. So we can update that to one. We can move the right pointer over. So right moves here. We add B to the set, we update longest to two. We move right along. We add C to the set, we update longest to three. We move right along. Now we've reached A, A is in the set. So what do we do here? Well, you would think we could just delete A from the set, but say for example, so with this, we'll add P to the set. We'll increment the longest by one. We'll add W to the set, increment longest. Then we get to the second W. So if we just delete W from the set, what's gonna happen here? And say we add W again here, we're still gonna be including P here. So this value plus this value is no longer a substring because they aren't adjacent to one another. So what we need to do in this instance is just delete the letter at the left pointer and then increment the left pointer to here. So that will remove A from the set, then we can begin this loop again. So we've got B, C, and A, so the right pointer is on A. Is A in the set? No, it's not, so we can add it into the set. We can check against the longest, so we have three and three, so that can stay the same. And now we can increment the right pointer, and it's reset. So we have B here, and we have B here. So B is already in the set. What do we do? Well, we delete the letter at the left pointer, and then we increment the left pointer by one. So we remove B from the set, increment the left pointer, and then carry on with the loop. At this point, B is not in the set, so we can add it into the set. We can check against the longest. They're still the same, so we can increment the right pointer. So right moves here. C is now in the set. We delete it from the set. We move the left pointer over, and we start again. So we check, is C in the set? No, C is not in the set. We add it into the set. We compare it with the longest. They're both the same. We move the right pointer forward. Now we check here. Now we check here. Is B in the set? Yes, B is in the set. So we need to delete the value at the left pointer. So A can be removed from the set. We need to increment the left pointer. And then we need to repeat the process. So again, is B in the set? Yes, B is still in the set. So we delete the value at the left pointer, which is B. We increment the left pointer, which is now C. And then we move along and we repeat the process. So is B now in the set? No, it's not, so we can add it into the set. We can compare it to the longest. Two is smaller than three, so we increment right pointer again. We add another B, so what happens here? Well, well, we need to delete the value at the left pointer, which is C. Increment the left pointer, so it moves to B. Then we can compare again, so is B in the set? Yes, it is. So we delete the letter at the left pointer, so B can be removed from the set. We increment the left pointer. Now we can check, is B in the set? B is not in the set, so we can add it into the set. We can compare it to the longest. Longest stays at three. Now we move right, and this is now out of bounds. So we've covered the entire string. 
and the longest value is three, which we return. So in terms of time and space complexity, time complexity is O to N, where a left and right pointer have to go through each value in the string. And this can be simplified to O of N. Space complexity is O of N, where in the worst case scenario, we are storing all values of the string within the set. So let's begin by creating the longest string variable, which we'll set as zero. Let's create the new set. Let's create the two pointers that are both going to be equal to zero. And then let's create the slide in window technique. So that's going to be a while loop. So while right is less than string dot length. Firstly, we can extract the letter to make it easier to read. So it's going to be S at right. And then we need to check within the set. So we need to see if the set doesn't have the letter. If that is the case, then we need to add the letter to the set and we need to update the longest string variable. And that is going to be math.max longest string compared to set.size property. And then after that, we need to increment the right pointer to avoid an infinite loop. Else, we need to start deleting from the left pointer if the letter is within the set. And then we need to increment the left pointer. And then we can just return the string. Okay, let's give that a go. Okay, let's submit it. And there you have it. 